This is Jill Maurer with Your Jewelry Minute, and today I'm answering the question, can I make my ring smaller without resizing it? And the answer is yes, there are several ways to do this. You might ask, why would somebody wanna do this? Why not just resize it? The reason is that sometimes people's hands change and they'll change throughout the year. A lot of us will have a bigger, our finger will be bigger in the summer and smaller in the winter. So it's, it would be nice to be able to buy the ring in the bigger size and then have a way to make it smaller on occasion when we want to make it smaller. There are several ways to do this. The first is to add a couple beads, a couple of beads on the inside of the shank of the ring, so the inside of the ring where it touches your finger. A lot of times we'll just do that on the bottom. What this does is it, it makes the ring a little smaller, but it also stabilizes it. It'll keep it from flopping over. If you need to, you can even add, we can add beads here and then sort of up at the top too to make it even smaller. Those can be taken off easily. Those beads can easily be taken off and put back on once or twice a year as needed. Another way to do this is with what we call a spring insert. And the spring insert looks like a U and it, it is malleable. So you'll see it like this, but when you put your finger in, it'll widen to where it needs to be. And this will be affixed to the bottom of the ring. This is a really effective way to wear, to, to make a ring that is too big fit but it also varies so that you can just leave that in and be able to wear it when, you're, when your finger is much smaller and then be able to expand it um, when your ring is bigger. It'll just spring out more. This, this spring sizer is another thing that will help to stabilize a ring if it's flopping over. And it is something that can be easily added and removed as needed. A lot of people do keep this one in when they use it. A third way is known as a bar sizer. It's just a little bar that clips to both sides of the bottom of a ring. So it creates sort of this little bar. So the, you know, the ring is like this and then there's a little bar on the bottom. It can be easily put on and taken off. In fact, this is one that you can order yourself. There are places that you can order yourself and put that on and take it off. And it will change the size of the ring a little bit or a lot, depending on what you need. There is one other way. This is an old fashioned do it yourself way. And that is to take string or yarn and just wrap it around the bottom of the ring. It is not the most elegant way to do it, but it is effective. I know in high school, we used to do this when we were going steady with a guy and wanted to wear his class ring, but it was much bigger we would put a bunch of yarn there and then it could easily be removed and taken off when he was going steady with somebody else or when he wanted to wear the ring himself. There are some other methods that I've heard people talk about doing themselves that it include epoxies or glues. I would not do this if I were you to your rings, especially if they're fine rings. I think a lot of this could cause permanent damage to the ring. If you're going to try to do something yourself, I'd either do the string or the yarn or see about getting that bar uh, sizer. But taking it to your jeweler, you'll have a lot of different options. This has been your Jewelry Minute. If you have a jewelry related question for me, just ask me in the comments below. Until next time.